Can we start this off, please? Yes, please. I will do. Get my breath back. Good to see you. Thanks for your time. Um, I ask you first of all about a, a, an article which has looked at where teams would be in the Premier League if what were what Keith Hackett and old referee described as bad referee decisions hadn't happened. And yeah. West Ham would be second at the moment. So he's saying he's affected West Ham this season, bad referee exams more than any other team. Yeah, yeah, okay, but. I have to concentrate, but it's, it's, it's a bit inconvenient <laughs> with this thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, well, what can I say? I mean, uh, yeah, in one hand, it's nice to know that, that, that we could or should or whatever be second in the table, but, but okay, okay, we are. The most important thing is that we are we are we are playing good. We are we are in a good position, and we are very motivated for the last four games. And uh, that's it, basically. I don't want to talk about that. Because you might get into trouble, or because you disagree with those. No, no, no. But uh, no, but because it's Friday, uh, it's uh, because it's Thursday, and and we have a big game on on Saturday, and there's no point to t uh, to really talk about it. I have no problem talking about that after the game and all that uh, because that affects mm, the the table and everything and our mood especially after the games and but uh, now it's gone and we we are totally focused on the game against West Brom. Just generally speaking, do you think throughout the season it's the old cliche question really? Good decisions, bad decisions, they even themselves out. Uh, well, well, according to that table, they don't, you <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, they know uh, they don't, so it, so they don't even themselves. But, uh, but it's part of the game, to be fair. It's part of the game, and. Uh, you see that it's not only in England, I mean, it's everywhere. You see that in uh, Germany, Croatia, Turkey, Europe League, European League, uh, or Champions League, or whatever. Who was, I read yesterday, who was Barcelona, yeah. Barcelona, they, they should have been rewarded a penalty, and the referee said afterwards, like yesterday, he said that, that he made mistakes. So it's, it's part of the game, unfortunately. Is top goal still? Your, your, your aim, your, your hope? Top four is very hard, I mean, very hard for us, I mean, but uh, mathematically we are there, but uh, we didn't think, we didn't approach that subject in that matter uh, ten weeks ago or, or eight weeks ago or six weeks, so we are, we are still approaching uh, it the same way, which is let's, let's play against West Brom and let's try to win our game or to get something from that game, and then we're going to see where it's going to take us. Uh, any, I guess the answer is no, but it's just to check, any injury problems there? No, we have a full squad. We have a full squad for uh, for a good period now, to be fair. Okay, one or two were injured, but uh, that was okay. So it's a big boost for us, because recently we have, uh, uh, when we train, I mean, the pitch is full of players. We, we, which is crucial and which is really good. And I have to praise, first of all, the players, and second, I have to praise the medical team who done the tremendous job. I just quickly ask you about uh, Alan Cresswell. Um, it's been linked now with some bigger clubs. The club here has said, the doctors here have said no need to have contact <coughs> talks with him because he's got a long contract. What's, what's your view on him? And I, he's, he's having a great season. He's, I mean, last year he was hammer of the year. And he, first of all, he's a great professional. He's a, he, it's great to have him. I mean, it's a privilege to have those kind of players who are basically almost available. Last year he played every game. This season he maybe missed one. If, if, if one, uh, I think he played all of them. Uh, so it's great. Uh, he improved a lot. I mean, last year he he played 
he had a great season uh, with the ball on the ball with his crosses and with his skills and technique he was always good and he's always like a almost a play maker on a left side of the defense but to but defensively he he improved tremendously and so he became like a great fullback and a complete player to be fair so of course <coughs> that brings him or those kind of players who are playing good and regularly uh, he became interest of so many good clubs bigger clubs as you said which I don't agree but but let's say oh, but okay but uh, I spoke to him he's first of all he's under contract second which is nowadays much more important than the length of the contract is that he's really happy here and he loves it here and uh, he can't wait for a new season and all hype about it so uh, of course that he not only him but he will and he's attracting those clubs to to try to get him or to talk to him or whatever but as i said uh, i spoke to him a couple of times and he's he's very happy and uh, he's going to stay for us for a long time hopefully cheers Slavin, i know you said that the top four isn't something that you've spoken about but given where you are in the table at the moment is the top six and european qualification the minimum target going into the last bit of the season now yeah, it is a target. It is a target, and it's been a target for for quite a while now. It wasn't a target at, at the beginning of the season, but let's say four games to go, we have a little bit, little bit gap. But we can't afford uh, not to win games or to lose games. Uh, top six, top six is the one that 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 we are really looking for now. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, extremely, because we have four really tough games. Then you have Liverpool there, you have Southampton there, who are playing good and they are they are picking points. But but uh, we are unbeaten, you know. Long we have a good run and uh, we are fully we are we are fully motivated and we are good. And if we continue to play like we played, let's say like last games and all that, we have a good chance. Um. In terms of European qualification, if Manchester United win the FA Cup, I think another place in the league would take it down to seventh would go into Europe. So, with that as a safety net, would you would like to see Man United win the FA Cup? Yeah, I'd like to see them, of course. I mean, that would give us a bit of a cushion mm -hmm. as well. But we we'll, we will try. I mean, the good thing is that everything is in our hands. And uh, I would rather us do that than to wait one week after the season and then 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 to wear all red yeah. scarves <laughs> and, <laughs> and flags and <laughs> and be a Man United <laughs> fan big time. Yeah. Um, and looking at West Brom, people have said that you know they're safe. They be on the beach, but we saw against. Yeah, Brom but that's the, the not the case. That's not the all. case. And I know that Graham Sooners he said that. It happens only I in England, like, but it happens. It happens. It happens. I mean, uh, the teams are, uh, are playing for their pride, for their fans, for themselves sometimes. So, uh, once I played in a Germany and we played the last game of the season and we had to win it to go to Europe. And we played against a team that that really that's something similar to Aston Villa. They've been relegated since I don't know, late February or March, and they beat us 5-1 <laughs> away. Yeah, re really 5-1. Then Nikola Jurčević was was at Freiburg also Germany. They've been relegated last four games, but they they won three of them I think. So. Uh, Make no mistake, they're gonna be, especially Tony Pulis teams and all that, uh, and with English mentality and everything, we are expecting uh, they will play on their maximum.
just finally for me, what, what most impressed you about that West Brom performance? And is there biggest threat set pieces as we saw from their equalizer? Set pieces we know. I mean, they scored more than 40, something like 44 or 45% of their games from, uh, of their goals from the set pieces. So, and they, they had a lot of clean sheets and uh, it's energy in transition. And to be fair, it's a quality, especially in the last third of the pitch, mm -hmm. where they deliver good crosses, where the boxes, they have minimum of, of three or four players there. And if you add to that transition and everything, of course, they're a good team and they're safe. Mm -hmm. They're safe. I mean, if we are talking about sometimes the people are talking like West Brom, that or West Brom, this. You see, they are, they, are, they are like safe with a cigar. <laughs> they are like, yeah, you talk about good Newcastle, you, could, you talk about good this, good this, but they are in trouble. And the West Brom, uh, it looks like they, they have never been in a trouble at all. Mm. And that, that shows that they have a good team and a great manager. Thanks. Cheers. Slavin, how? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how pleased and how proud would you be to bring European football to the club for next season? Well, I don't want to talk about like uh, like it's happening already. Let's do it first. Let's try to do it first. That's all that I can promise. I mean, it is. I mean, we don't have to lie. It is. It is in our hands. But uh, it's four games to go, and it can it, it can very easily slip out of our hands. But it would be great. Just one point about Reese Burke as well. He won the Bradford Player of the Year. How tempted would you be to throw him in, in, in the deep end for next season? Or does he need to go through a, a process of bedding in to the club? Well, I like Reese. Uh, he already he played in some friendlies for us. He played in Europe. Not only, he's, he's a very clever player. It's uh, okay, great stature and all that, but he played a couple of games as a right back against Andorra and also in a friendly. Okay, it's friendly, but it was a good game against Charlton and he done really well. So he's, he's very smart and I like him a lot and it is it was and it still is uh, part of the plan for him and them because we have few of them who are really good and promising to go on loan uh, minimum year, maybe even two years, two seasons for them to improve and basically after one season or two seasons for them to come back with a clear situation, okay, you are good for West Ham, you're going to stay with us, but then you're going to play part and be 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 important <coughs> member of the squad or go somewhere else, you know what I mean. So he's done that season and then after the season we're going to decide is he going to do another year. Uh, if he's going to do that, then it has to be at least championship or he's going to stay with us. But he's going to stay with us only if, if we see that he's got a uh, good, good chance to, to play, not only to train with us. Because young players, they, they, they need to play.